back to my cooking vlog I just I know and welcome to my kitchen today we are making grilled beef with mango salad or nue yang and yam mamu um, so what we need I'm using uh, beef filet mignon I found this petite filet mignon in the market that looks pretty good and it's enough for just one or maybe two people depending on how uh, much you serve your food and um, then we need mango I have these kind of raw a little bit soft that means it's a little uh, sweet and a little ripened which is perfect um, red onion or you can use shallots if you prefer shallots lime fresh lime you need lime juice um, Thai bird chili and some uh, sweet peppers you can use the regular size sweet peppers and uh, I'm using these tiny uh, mini sweet peppers that I always have in my uh, refrigerator they are small sweet and tasty some cilantro green cabbage some um, cherry tomatoes or use other tomatoes you have in hand or that you prefer um, then for the marinade, I'm using this uh, Dragonfly brand oyster sauce. You can use different brand, uh, depending on what you have or what you prefer. And then thin soy sauce, also Dragonfly brand. You can use fish sauce if you use uh, you have it at home. Uh, some Maggi seasoning sauce, a little sugar, a little ground black pepper and a little canola oil we're gonna marinate the uh, beef so we need the equal amount of thin soy sauce or fish sauce i'm using one teaspoon for this one little piece of uh, filet mignon it's about 35 ounces you can use um, other meat, um, you can use ribeye, steak, you can use uh, pork. I tried this with pork before and it's very good. Uh, use pork shoulder, kind of trim out the fat a little bit. It can be a little fatty. Um, I think it will even be good on uh, with chicken. Then one teaspoon of the Maggi seasoning sauce. And then two ratio teaspoon of the oyster sauce and equal amount of the sugar and black pepper okay use one fourth of the teaspoon it well and then you put your uh, meat in then what I do I put it in the um, ziplock bag put it in the fridge at least an hour or if you have time or you use bigger piece of meat put it in there for um, overnight for the flavor to um, absorb into the meat and, oh forgot one thing once you mix everything and uh, marinate all over add another quarter spoon quarter teaspoon of oil just for moisture and easy to grill. Then kind of turn it so the oil gets coated all over the meat. The oil helps it so it's not dry. 
but not um, dry after you grill it. That I have here the uh, piece of filet mignon that I've been uh, married for over an hour now. So we're gonna grill over um, medium high heat. I have to use the pan grill because this electric um, stove only takes this one pan. Um, you can use the grilling pan or use the grill outside. Whenever you grill, this is a quick salad. Um, very delicious, very healthy, and satisfying. Wait for the pots, uh, the pan to get hot. Then you stay cook it to your liking. I like it medium well. If you like it medium rare or um, well done, so that it take longer. And I'm just using the um, touching the method to be a little um, not perfect, but it's good. Then while we're waiting for the meat to cook, we're going to make the salad dressing. You will need um, salad dressing. The, we use equal amount of the thin fry sauce. Again, you can use fish sauce. I have been using thin fry sauce instead of fish sauce for a long time. And Perfect. And then line. Keep the line on your meat. This particular mignon cook very fast. If you use a ribeye steak, it will take longer to grill or depends if you use uh, pork or chicken depends on how big of your um, the pieces of your meat okay, two tablespoons of the fresh lime juice it should be enough Then a teaspoon of sugar, this white sugar. Then the Thai chili pepper. I'm using two to adjust to your um, tolerance tolerance for the spiciness. Use one if you don't like it too spicy. I'm using two. If we eat spicy, and use different knife. Just thinly slice. The Thai chili pepper they can be spicier during the summertime, so taste it. Sometimes it can be so hot. It can hurt your tummy. I'm going to flip my steak. A little bit longer. Let's put this. a container with lid so you can just shake it until the sugar dissolve and just let it sit and rest until you're ready to make the salad. The salad start with the mango 
This one will be a little firm, but a, in the, um, a little sweeter side. Peel it. See, it's yellow now. If you get the um, raw mango, which is green, it will be in the sour side. And you may need to add a little more sugar into your dressing. Get all the skin out. And I'm gonna cut this uh, mango different than the raw. It is a little soft. I usually cut into um, toothpick kind of or the julienne. But if I do that to this mango, it's gonna get all mushy. You want the texture in the salad. So I'm gonna cute. Keep into about three quarter inch. Easy to eat, my size. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off and let it sit for a little. Uh, one more second. Then green cabbage, cut into thin slice, just about um, a quarter, um, a quarter cup. You don't want too much of anything else besides the mango. Mango got to be the star, so we don't want anything else to overwhelm the mango. So. If you don't like cabbage, you can use uh, different crunchy uh, vegetables like carrots. Nothing too um, strong that will overwhelm the mango text. Then the red onion, I'm just gonna thin slice. It'll be about the same amount as the um, green cabbage. Slice. Again, you prefer shallots. The original recipe is um, as for shallots, but I prefer red onion because of that crunch that you get from the um, red onion. That's good for the salad. Gonna let it rest. Then I'm gonna use red. Bell pepper, 
because the mango is yellow and we have the purple from the red onion um, I'm not gonna use yellow white um, sweet pepper because then it crash with the mango colors sometimes we eat with the, we like to eat with the eyes as well so I'm gonna keep And then, if you like spicy, you can use you can add a little of the jalapeno. I'm gonna add a little bit, just some green in there. Cilantro, I'm gonna pick cilantro leaf. This has been washed and dried. Make sure all vegetables are, are washed if you don't have to peel them. The pepper has been washed. You like a lot of cilantro, you add a lot, but not too much. Okay, that will be enough. I'm gonna put that aside. Um, I'm gonna rest this a little more. I'm gonna mix the uh, toss the the salad. Okay, I'm this off. Use just enough, not too much. Delicious. Yummy. Okay. Now I'm gonna thin slice the um, steak. This is perfect. Medium well. Cut into thin slice so it's easy to eat. I got that crispy outside from the sugar in the marinade and then soft. in the middle I'm gonna try one bite Delicious. we're gonna serve it like Thai as a good old Thai people with the rice or you can just have it with the steak with the salad Jasmine rice, and I'm gonna make some space. I will plate some of the salad. Press it down to make sure you get all the dressing. the base of the grill beef make it look nice the color is bright 
and do it. Then I'm just gonna take half of um, these meat, but just one person, just me, that's enough. And there you go. We have grilled beef with mango salad. Quick, delicious, healthy. Enjoy. I see you next time. Bye bye.